Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support that you do bring to the channel. I'm also super grateful to those of you that have donated both tarot oracle uh, decks from my Amazon wish list. Um, and those of you that are wanting to book private readings with me, you can always find my email down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you on more information on booking readings as well as other uh, services with me. So today's pick a card reading, we are uh, doing a little bit of a check-in with spirit to see what messages you are meant to receive uh, at this time. So it could really be about anything. Uh, if you do feel drawn to more than one pile for this reading today, that is perfectly okay. From left to right, we do have a carnelian. We have a citrine right in the center and then we also have pyrite matrix here which is a beautiful little gold color so we are going to be adding in one of these cards from the mystical shaman oracle to see what message you are meant to receive at this time so what message are you meant to receive at this time Pile number one, you are going to be the rattle. Pile number two, you are soul retrieval. And then pile number three, we have the council. Okay. So go with whatever you feel your intuition is drawing to you the most. Pile one, you are the rattle with this carnelian. Pile number two, you are going to be the soul retrieval card with this citrine. And then pile number three, you are the council with the pyrite matrix. So I said, if you do feel drawn to more than one, that is perfectly okay for this reading. Um, and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all the messages that come through may be specifically for you, um, as this is a general collective energy reading. Um, so only take what fits, leave the rest, pile one with the rattle, pile two with soul retrieval, and then pile number three with the council. Timestamps will be down below, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pile One. So those of you that resonate with card number 43, the Rattle and the Carnelian, this is going to be a reading. So we're going to pull your tarot and see what message Spirit wants you to receive at this time. Okay, Pile One, so what message are you meant to receive at this time? We have the Two of Wands. So we have Aries energy. What message are you meant to receive at this time? We also have the Lovers, Gemini. the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. What message are you meant to receive at this time? We also have a Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer. What message are you meant to receive at this time? Queen of Wands. Nine of Swords. The Ace of Cups. And we also have the King of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm kind of getting from this energy here, it does look like 
there is some type of choice or decision. I feel like some there's this energy here surrounding planning something for a future. And it could be that this is a next step along your path. And I am seeing that the message is kind of coming through. It's about spirit wanting you to be confident in what this decision is. It's I feel like there's a time for action. And I'm seeing the Nine of Swords energy here, which is feeling a lot of maybe anxiety or worrying about future when you make this decision. And I'm feeling that for some of you with the Page of Swords energy hit, there's a need to get more information. I feel like maybe surrounding this decision, I am feeling that there is an opportunity coming towards you here. It may even be something that's you're kind of sensing, sensing now with this Ace of Cups. And I'm feeling the, the message here is about spirit kind of acknowledging that you are in this place where you are trying to decide which, almost like which path to take. For some of you, it can be about some type of change, location change, movement, job change is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like the opportunity is here. It's, it's time to take action and for you to be confident in that. And you also have the rattle here. And the rattle's message is about calling you to connect and work with spirit towards what your desired destiny is. And I'm noticing that even in this Queen of Swords card, how she has her crown that's there, but also the way that she's kind of holding her wing out, almost like it's leading and guiding you towards some type of movement here. And then in the next card with the Knight of Wands, the horse is moving and the crow is riding or flying right alongside of the Knight of Wands. And with the Two of Cups energy here, this is a card of balance, a card of harmony. And I'm feeling there is a need to really kind of tune into what your heart is leading and guiding you towards. I'm feeling that this is going to lead to a place where you're feeling very happy, very fulfilled. But it almost feels like there might be a little bit of skepticism on your part about following where your heart is leading or calling you towards. But I'm kind of hearing it as this action is uh, meant to take place now. Starting to plan, starting to get things together. You have the Page of Wands underneath the deck. And the Page of Wands is, and look at the way that this crow's, the crow's little beak is wide open, almost like it's cawing. Uh, the Page of Wands is about starting down a new path, pursuing your desires, your passions. For some of you, this could be some type of creative idea. Some of you could be surrounding business opportunity, creative opportunity. Um, could most definitely be. Okay, so yes. Um, and I'm seeing the Ace of Cups energy here. This is talking about uh, opportunities. For some of you, it could be opportunities in love. You know, opportunities in love here. But I'm feeling there's a need for you to really kind of be more confident in yourself. Even if it is new love that you're moving towards or opening yourself up to. Okay. I'm feeling it's a need for emotional release for some of you to finding balance from within the self. And for others of you, I feel like this message is directly about your path, like where you're moving, uh, moving forward to pursue something. I am seeing the Knight of Wands, it could be, is about energy that's um, very fast moving, very confident, um, Yes, and I'm just getting this message here of needing to be confident in your choice, in your decision. Okay, so let's see what else we have here for you. Pile number one. What message are you meant to receive at this time? <clears throat> Many of you, I'm seeing you 
uh, me possibly meeting, connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could even be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What message is pile number one meant to receive at this time? We have caching. Okay, so this card talks about collecting or gathering things, almost like this preparation, energy of preparation. Some of you could have some really great ideas of things that you're wanting to do to create here. And I feel like more or less where I'm seeing a lot of this energy of action, a need for taking action here. I feel like it's something important because some of you are kind of holding on to a lot of these ideas and it's like the opportunities are coming available to you. So there's a need that when these opportunities are there, that you don't let fear be something that holds you back with that nine of swords. It's about you trusting your heart, your intuition, where it is guiding you. I feel like I'm hearing like you've acquired the wisdom, the knowledge. And now it's time for you to kind of stand in this place where you can make a very clear decision. Let's see here. Pile number one. What messages are you meant to receive at this time? We have adjustment. It says looking back and moving forward. Okay. So maybe for some of you, it's like looking back to your past, looking back at, you know, along your path, the decisions you've already made. I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like this, there's this energy of stepping outside of comfort zone, you know, stepping outside of comfort zone. I'm noticing there's a lot of this beautiful energy that's kind of coming out of her hand too, like almost like she's creating here. But then around her, she's got this owl that's like sitting right above her head. So I'm seeing this as you kind of tapping into that inner wisdom knowledge that you hold um, and needing to make some adjustments here and see what else is coming through. What messages is pile number one meant to receive at this time? We have the guide. Look at that again, her hand with this light that's coming out of it. There's a wolf right next to her, the illuminated path. Almost like, like I said, it's like spirit is leading you, guiding you. And I feel for some of you, there's this looking back because you feel maybe nervous or anxious about these next steps on your path. But it's like needing to trust that spirit is leading you and guiding you towards this change, this transition um, that is happening here. Let's see what else what messages are you meant to hear at this time? Yes. Look at that. We have sacred action, decisive focus, and then you have abundance, fortune, wealth, and plenty. So yeah, sacred action here, decisive focus. That's kind of where I'm seeing. It's like, Spirit is wanting you to trust in your path. These next steps, I feel like, that are being illuminated for you at this time. A lot of this rattle energy, I'm seeing that kind of as um, co-creating with Spirit. And there's a time for you, I feel like, to be very trusting of where... This intuition is leading you, guiding you. I feel like with the sacred action here, even the number 17 is the star within the tarot. We have number 21, which is the world. So there's some type of ending here to allow for some type of new beginning. We have the number 24, 2 being the high priestess, 4 being the emperor. And I feel like this is, in a way, you're using your intuition to guide you towards your next action. There's strategy, there's planning, there's focus, discipline here. 
And this reduces to a six, which is the lover's energy. Again, it's a choice of the heart, but spirit guiding and leading you towards your heart's desire. We also have the number 28 here, the high priestess and the strength card. The strength card being a need for you to have confidence. <laughs> Again, the message of confidence coming up here. Willpower, focus, determination, leading you towards a place of emotional fulfillment. For many of you, this is could potentially be leading you towards your path of abundance. And there's a need for you, again, to really trust that spirit is helping to illuminate this path for you. And so, like I said, this Nine of Swords energy here can be a lot of fears, a lot of worrying, anxiety here. And there's a need for you to kind of trust the spirit is, is leading you towards this path for you to receive abundance. And not just abundance in a sense of material, but also a place of emotional fulfillment. Um, many of you are very strong creative energies, very intuitive and I feel like there's something here that you're meant to create with this Ace of Cups energy here and this opportunity coming and a need for you to really believe in that. So I want to look a little bit at this adjustment here for some of you. What is this adjustment for Pile 1? Almost like Spirit saying that you've... <clears throat> You've accumulated a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, and now it's time to integrate. I feel like time of integration. What is this adjustment here? The Three of Cups. Okay. So many of you, this is helping you to connect and move forward with people, community. Maybe some of you could be moving to a new community. Um, but the Three of Cups is about support. It's about joy uh, celebration, happiness, uh, meeting, connecting with other souls, uh, that are like-minded here. But many of you, I'm seeing this is a lot of creative energy. Let's see what else. What is this adjustment here? Okay. Now for some of you, and of course, not all of you may resonate with this, but there is a specific message that's coming through about a current community that you could be in right now. And uh, energetically, you've outgrown this group, this circle. It could be uh, friends. It could be even relationships, jobs. Uh, it's almost like spirits leading you towards this where you're needed to go for advancement, upgrade. Some of you feel like you may not resonate maybe like with a current place that you're living in. Almost like the current place has been something that served a purpose, but now it's time for that shift. And it's like a this advancement that's taking place here. We have the King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands energy is about leadership. Um, it's uh, being a trailblazer, you paving your own path. Okay, many of you are being called to step into uh, leading maybe a business for some of you. Uh, upgrading or elevated in terms of your career. Some of you are meant to lead others, guide others, uh, share your wisdom and knowledge with others, maybe through creative opportunities, connections with others. What is this sacred action? Decisive focus. Ace of Swords. Okay. So many of you that feel a little bit unclear, a little fuzzy, this clarity is coming in. This is a breakthrough. This is kind of like the light bulb moment we have. Um, yeah, the Ace of Swords, it's just feeling that this could be some truth that your spirit guides, ancestors, higher self are trying to bring to you. And there's a need for you to really be very clear about your next moves, your next actions here. What is this sacred action? The Six of Wands. This is leading you towards recognition. Leading you path towards a path of recognition. You're receiving recognition from others. Some of you are meant to be in the spotlight. Be well known. 
meant to surround yourself, I feel like, with people that are more like-minded energetically as well. Is something that's coming through. Celebration, meant to be celebrated, meant to be acknowledged for the work that you do. But the Six of Wands is a card of victory, a card of success. Okay, what is the abundance message here? And I just saw the Eight of Cups. So some of you, like I said, there's of walking away or letting go of something. Moving on to something that brings more or less more emotional fulfillment. The Four of Swords energy for some of you, there's a need for meditation. Quiet, calm, stillness is where you're going to receive this clarity. Okay. Surrounding decisions, choices. What is this abundance? Justice. There's some type of karmic balance that's occurring here. The justice card is about weighing options, decisions, choosing what is best for your highest good. I'm seeing the three of swords energy. Some of you are healing, healing, doing a lot of deep healing work. And this is something that's also helping you to open up this abundance for you. This could have been something that's creating blockages. And there's a lot of this healing that's taking place. What is this guide? The world. Yeah, there's this is spirit guiding you towards some type of ending here. Okay, so of course general reading is going to be different for all of you. Some of you are, may already know what it is. What you're, what you're being called to do, whether it's leave a job, career path, a place that you live, a relationship, a friendship, something that's being completed here. And now it's kind of like spirit is illuminating these next steps for you. Okay. So yes, there's a need for you to pay attention to five of wands. There's a need for you. Some of you, I feel like are fighting. <laughs> there's like a little bit of resistance um, for some of you. Page of Wands again. Okay. So yeah, some of you with the Five of Wands are, there could be a little bit of resistance surrounding this choice, this decision to change here. And this is where I feel like that clarity is helping you to kind of break through any of this conflict, inner conflict that you might be feeling. Some of you with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom are worried about abundance, a loss of abundance or uh, the feeling of lack, healing, maybe even the uh, lack mindset mentality because spirit is trying to help you and lead you towards this abundant path. And that requires adjustments, okay? It requires adjustments. Some of you could be afraid, but there's a need for you to kind of look back at where you're at right now and look at what choices you've made in getting to where you're at right now. And sometimes we forget Right? We forget about uh, the things that we've already been over able to overcome, in a sense. And we can forget how we were brave or strong or courageous in making those choices we needed to make to get to where we're at now. And it's kind of like, I feel like some of you are like, you, you forget that you've already made some powerful choices that have led you to what you have accomplished for yourself now. And so it's now it's time for that shift again, change again. And some of you are kind of allowing this mentality of lack to get in the way of this upgrade, this advancement that you're making here. So you're feeling in, a little weary, I feel like, about it. But there's a need for you to kind of move past that. Spirit is calling you here for uh, some type of new beginning, some type of new opportunity. Some of you can be a new creative opportunity or starting or creating something new. I'm just feeling it's like the time is now for you to get yourself, I feel like, in line, being committed, dedicated to what your long-term goal is. Many of you, it's leading you towards that place of uh, security, stability that you're looking for. So, of course, you know, there's a need for you to be confident enough to take risks that you're being guided to take that's going to help to lead you towards what you're meant to receive uh, from spirit. 
Okay, so again, a time of co-creation. This is time for you to kind of use the tools that you've already been given and really kind of make moves, okay? Make moves, feel confident in them and that you are being guided, okay? So I'm gonna leave this here for you. Pile number one, I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with the soul retrieval card, this is going to be your reading today. Looks like a little moth or butterfly that's here. Um, but we're going to look at what your tarot says here. And then we're going to move into your message that you were meant to receive at this time. But for many of you with the soul retrieval message could be speaking about you reclaiming the lost or fragmented parts of self. Um, and when we are focusing on soul retrieval, we are, you know, doing a lot of shadow work, a lot of inner child healing um, to reclaim those lost parts of ourself that have been hurt through wounding, uh, whether that be from certain friendships, uh, romantic partnerships, uh, childhood wounds, and things that you've gone through. And then the next step in that process, after you've kind of recovered those last, those lost and hurt parts of yourself, is for you returning to your original nature, which is something that uh, is without conditioning, is without those wounds that are there. It's you kind of stepping back into your authenticity, your truest self. Okay. So let's see, pile two, what message are you meant to receive at this time? What message is pile number two meant to receive at this time? We have the six of wands. So we have Leo energy. And I'm feeling a lot of this for many of you is restoring a certain level of confidence within yourself by being able to heal these wounds. The six of cards, six of swords is a card of the rites of passage, meaning that we've been able to kind of overcome something that we're moving on from, leaving behind. Okay. Maybe for some of you, it is restoring confidence within yourself. Okay, let's see. We've got the Page of Wands. We have the King of Swords. We have the World. What message is pile number two meant to receive at this time? We also have Temperance. Wow, King of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Four of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Hanged Man. Okay. Yeah, so I'm noticing you have three kings here. Okay. <laughs> three kings here. And so the way that I'm kind of seeing this is there is this, I feel like a lot of this is healing surrounding the spiritual energy within you because you do have temperance here. Temperance is a transmutation. Um, of energies. And so I'm noticing that with the wands energy that you have here, you have a page coming in. And so the other energies that we have here coming in as a king are about your ideas, your thoughts, elevating yourself to a place of higher consciousness. And then you have the king of cups energy here, which is about feelings, emotions, intuition, and stability okay and then with your king of pentacles energy here this is about you uh becoming financially secure stable 
grounded, focused, disciplined, you know, taking risks that you need to within life. And so with temperance, I'm seeing this as a healing that's happening, right? Tying this back into your soul retrieval energy. But I'm feeling, and I was kind of hearing a journey inward, okay? Because you do have the hangman here. And the hangman is about uh, taking a pause, taking a break, um, a time of stillness, going with inside of the self and looking within. This is helping you with some type of change or shift in perspective. And this is, I feel like, moving on from something because you do have the Six of Swords Six of Swords is a card of transition where there's movement happening here. You also have the world and the world is about endings to allow for new beginnings. So there is some type of completion uh, of a cycle here. We do have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy, Pisces, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn and Virgo energy that's coming through. And with the Page of Wands energy, I'm seeing this as you are being called to journey, to follow passions, dreams, desires, goals. Uh, with the Four of Swords energy here, again, this is another card of rest, stillness, um, finding peace from within the self. Okay, I do feel like there is this transmutation of energy that's happening here for you. You know, moving past anything that you have gone through. I feel like in the past, and I feel like this, like I said, it's a lot of energy surrounding reclaiming your confidence, your power, uh, and this being something that's helping you to elevate into these energies of the kings, which is a mastery of these energies, right? Being the master of your emotions, the master of the 3D physical world. And also all, all of this profound change that's also taking place with the swords energy, which is, like I said, your ideas, your thoughts, your communication. It's you speaking your truth, finding your truth. Um, even with this page of wands energy here, we're seeing this crow with his beak that's open, looking like he's cawing. And I feel for many of you, you're being called to transition past something, maybe something that has been difficult for you. But I am seeing this as you kind of overcoming this place here with the Six of Wands as a card of victory, a card of success. So many of you are coming to a very important end to some type of cycle here. And through soul retrieval, I feel like you're working on being able to kind of move past uh, this energy here. So let's see what else for you, pile number two. What message are you meant to receive at this time? And maybe for some of you, this hangman is helping you to change or shift perspective and stepping into the energy of these kings. Okay, so we have two here. We have card number 40 with resistance. And then we also have play. Okay, okay. So the resistance, I feel like maybe for some of you is your own way of thinking, your own thoughts that could be kind of holding you back. And so with this energy here, it's kind of spirit encouraging you to kind of open yourself up into other points of view, um, feeling confident enough to follow wherever this inner guidance is leading you towards. Let's see what messages are is pile number two meant to receive at this time we have summoning power look at that <laughs> instinct intellect and control right to me it's it's about you reclaiming a lot of your power okay and you're using that it's like you're summoning your power reclaiming it from these past events moving you back into a place of strength and stability we have death and rebirth darkness to light to me, that is that transmutation of energy that's taking place for you, right? You're releasing all of these uh, parts of yourself that no longer fit and being able to go through this rebirth process a lot lighter. The release, okay? We also have sensuality with feminine wisdom and passion and also hidden knowledge here, the Akashic Records and a silent understanding. So many of you are going to be or have already 
started to receive a lot of downloads from spirit or have access to uh, the knowledge that your higher self is kind of bringing to you. Many of you, it can be reclaiming feminine power, feminine energy um, that you may also be using to uh, create. Like I said, I kind of feel like the resistance here could be your own mindset. And with the hangman energy, it's helping you to shift this perspective. We have friendship here, support, fun, unity, and play. Okay, we have the bright heart light with open connections. So many of you, like I said, are being called to journey moving forward. It could be that this is helping you to connect you with other souls that are like-minded. Um, I do want to look at this resistance here. What is this resistance for pile number two? The Ace of Cups. For some of you, it can be some type of healing. Okay. Maybe there is more putting more of a focus on uh, the healing for you. I'm also seeing the Eight of Cups. Okay. Underneath the deck, which could be about letting go or moving away from things that are creating resistance for you. For some of you, it can be healing. Uh, that is needed, okay? I am also seeing the strength card in reverse at the bottom of the deck here as well. And that strength in reverse can be a lot of fears, you know, that could have been holding you back from being able to move forward or on even from certain things uh, from your past. Something that may have created resistance for you uh, is what I'm seeing there. Okay. So to me, this is you, your own fears that could have been something that have been creating that resistance, uh, for you. We do have Leo energy again, coming through with this. So like I said, Leo energy is all about confidence, about power, about being able to kind of overcome those fears. Even if those fears are ones that you have with inside of the self, some of you could be letting go of certain connections that are no longer in alignment and you really kind of opening yourself up to uh, the abundance that the Ace of Cups does bring. Um, there is a need for emotional release, letting go of uh, certain things um, that you are working towards healing from, transmuting this energy, I feel like, into your uh, power, okay? There's a lot of restorative, beautiful energy here. So it's kind of like I said, with the summoning your power here, it's calling back all of these lost, wounded bits of self for many of you that are being called to do this at this time okay and knowing with the hidden knowledge here it's about reflecting a lot inwards both of these here are talking about the energy of the feminine and so maybe for some of you it is reclaiming and really healing a lot of the feminine energy to help you to move forward into um this new light okay um of this energy is is what I'm seeing here for you pile number two okay so let's see I want to clarify this summoning power here we have the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles energy is about can be about prior priorities um, that we have to kind of bring into balance to me this is also about you bringing balance into the self there could be certain choices decisions that you're being called to make at this time a need for weighing options here. What is this summoning power energy? We have the Ten of Swords. Yes, yeah, so a lot of profound energy of healing here. The Ten of Swords can be painful things that we've gone through. It can also be a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing certain situations. And so this is kind of where I'm seeing you're bringing balance to that. We have the moon energy here. Okay, so the moon is about our subconscious mind. It is where we keep a lot of those suppressed feelings and emotions. And I'm seeing this as you kind of shedding light upon them, bringing these things to the surface for you to be able to heal, illuminate, right? This can even be taking a look at those underlying fears that you might have that you are bringing to the surface, right? Because sometimes these fears that we hold can be something that takes our power away, okay? So this is spirit really wanting you to kind of go through this process of being able to clear these um, things away here. And then we have the sun, more Leo energy here. Wow. Um, and the sun, again, kind of like um, the Leo energy. It's about confidence. It's about power, vitality, um, 
I feel like moving away from anything that is creating resistance in your life. And that could be jobs, friendships, romantic partnerships. And it's kind of restoring this happiness and fulfillment uh, with inside of yourself, okay? Bringing in a more beautiful, more profound energy of the sun, okay? Transmutation of energy. And then we have the three of pentacles energy and the chariot at the bottom. So some of you can even be moving on to new connections, supportive connections, because we also have friendship here. Support, fun, unity, and play. Some of you are being called to connect with others, networking with others. This could be new friends. Um, some of you can even be surrounding work, collaborations, connections. Uh, the chariot is also calling movement forward, okay? Making progress. Some of this can be even be relocation, traveling, uh, moving to a new place, maybe where there are more supportive friendships that are here, okay? is another thing that I'm saying, but I'm feeling it's kind of like being called to step back into your power, reclaim, right, from anything from the past that has kind of kept you, in a sense, in that place of resistance. And for some of you, yes, your own fears, uh, but this is being called to kind of journey inwards, have that change and shift in perspective, right, L releasing anything that is not really in alignment, whether those are your own thoughts, insecurities, fears, or even anything that's not quite a fit or aligned with you at this time. You're being called to step into your power, purpose for many of you, okay? And the things that you do feel uh, passionate about creating, okay? It's, it's time for kind of reclaiming your power so that you can direct that energy towards the things that you are wanting to achieve and create um, for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number two, I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonate with the council card and the pyrite matrix, this is going to be our reading today. So we are finding out what message you are meant to receive at this time. And I've kind of noticed across all three piles today, which is, I mean, basically we're doing a collective general reading, but maybe that's kind of like the theme, um, is a lot of this is spirit kind of calling you to reflect inwards and really do some deep diving into the self. And with your council card here, it's really asking you to call upon the council from within. And some of you can see that as God, source, universe, your ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, you know, whatever resonates for you. But if you notice, she's got her eyes closed here and she's kind of holding onto her heart space. But to more, this is about you listening to that guidance from within the self. Okay, so we'll see. But yes, yeah, so it's definitely something I've noticed across all three piles is spirit really wanting you to reflect inwards for that inner guidance. Uh, those messages that you're needing to hear. Okay, let's see here. Pile number three. What message are you meant to receive at this time? We have temperance. Sagittarius energy. What message are you meant to receive at this time? We have the eight of cups. Pisces energy, nine of pentacles, page of pentacles, the knight of swords. Yeah, so I'm seeing this as a call to some type of action, decision, a need for being confident, which is kind of what's been the message across all three piles. Um, the Eight of Cups energy is about letting go, walking away, or, you know, uh, seeking out solitude, spending time alone, reflection, introspection. Think about where it is that your soul is calling you towards. And with this Page of Pentacles energy here, if you see this little crow is sitting right on this little branch here, and it's like the pentacle is like hanging right there uh, from that little branch. 
And so with the Page of Pentacles energy here, this is about starting something new, planting the seed for something new. Many of you, this is helping you to get to a place of independence, stability, security. Okay, here with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, we also have temperance here. And temperance is a need for balance, a need for patience and healing. Uh, temperance is the transmutation of energy. So this can be kind of dissolving away you know, anything uh, that has been holding you back and about transmuting this into some very powerful energy. And for many of you, I feel like there's some type of action here with that Knight of Swords that you're meant to take. Maybe it is surrounding planting the seed for something new, creating something new. Let's see what else. What message are you meant to receive at this time? Pile three. We have the Two of Cups. And I'm feeling like a lot of this is centered around you finding harmony from within inside of the self. Many of you, this is a focus on self-love, on healing. We have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. So I'm seeing this as you kind of creating some type of plan uh, for yourself. And I'm feeling like it is really leading you towards wealth, stability, abundance. Okay, and we also have the Ten of Cups here. So really beautiful uh, messages. The Ten of Cups, both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups are about being able to achieve, you know, uh, within the 3D, the Ten of Pentacles is about uh, building a legacy, okay, uh, stability, security, long-term success. This could even be commitments that are uh, bringing about long-term security for you. Okay. So let's just say that you are in a relationship right now that isn't quite in alignment with you anymore. This is going to be about you being strong enough to be able to let that go and recognize it. Okay. So that may not resonate for all of you because it is a general reading, but some of you that are feeling cold that a current relationship or connection is something that's not quite in alignment. Okay. It could be that you are making a decision to work towards uh, letting it go. And so the Ten of Cups energy is also a card of fulfillment, happiness, um, things that bring about fulfillment for you, that make you happy, you know? So some of you can be called to make some type of choices or decisions that are going to lead you towards your abundance, towards... Uh, finding fulfillment and with your council energy here it is about that journey inward you know to take a look at uh, what certain situations in your life that you hold yourself back from and if that is a need for nurturing loving the self more um, healing that might be needed uh, so that you can move into a much more grounded stable uh, secure energy Okay, some of you, it's it's a call for discipline, a card for organization, uh, commitment to yourself, to your dreams, to your goals, um, a place of harmony. Okay, even for those of you that are already like, let's just say your your relationship that you're in right now is fine, right? It's perfect, just the way it is. You're happy, you're content. This more or less to me is about you thinking about you, reflecting on the self individually, okay? And do you feel like you are in alignment right now with maybe your soul's calling, your soul's purpose, okay? So a lot of this journey inward here with the council. And I do want to clarify your uh, Eight of Cups energy here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have the Nine of Swords, okay? So for some of you, this is a need to move away from any type of restrictive thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, anxiety. Um, some of you, I feel like you could have an opportunity to meet or connect with someone. Um, and I'm getting soulmate energy here, okay? Especially for those of you that are single. Um, this is a time for you to now kind of open yourself up, allow yourself to be vulnerable, Okay, and start something new, begin something new, connect with someone new. Okay, some of you I'm getting an earth sign. 
Okay, I'm even getting some Pisces energy. Some of you can be an air sign that you do have coming towards you. And maybe it's feeling a little bit anxious and nervous about opening yourself up to new love. Okay, but once you kind of find that healing from within the self, it kind of is helping you to elevate, change your own vibration so that you feel open and ready to receive uh, new love, new connections. Okay, for others of you, it's a little bit of work within inside of the self, and that may even be something that helps you to restore balance or harmony in your current relationship if that is one that you feel you are wanting to hold on to. Okay, but there's also a need for you to kind of really be honest with yourself if you feel like everything that you do have in your life at this time is something that you feel is in alignment with you or is it something that you're rather needing to move on from, okay? And that is like your intuition may already be telling you, right, guiding you. So that is where that importance of reflecting inwards. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have the Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords can also be an illusion that we keep ourselves stuck in, right? And sometimes it's an illusion of fear about things that we want to move towards, but we too feel too afraid, okay? Too afraid to move towards them because that fear can be something that holds us back. The Seven of Swords can also talk about a lot of scattered thinking and a need for us to organize our thoughts, okay? So let's see what else. We have the Six of Pentacles energy here. The Six of Pentacles is a card of balance, okay? And that could be balanced in connections, uh, maybe even with work situations. Do you feel like you're being uh, valued? Do you feel like you're being treated with what your worth truly is, right? So like I said, there's a need for us to really go inwards and really take some time to reflect upon that. Okay, is it time for some of you for something new? Is it time for you to take some kind of action here? Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number three, what messages are you meant to hear at this time? What messages is pile number three meant to hear at this time? We have territory. Okay. So, I want to look at that message. I don't think I've ever seen this card come out before. So, let's look. 49. Okay, and this is from the Urban Crow Oracle. But it says, crows are very territorial. They have distinct groups, and they will not hang out too long on a block that is not theirs. Territory indicates that someone may be entering your space uninvited or that you may be the one who is the intruder. This card may also ask if you are protecting something out of concern that someone may be trying to step on your toes or take over something you cherish. When territory appears in a reading, you may need to consider what boundaries are in place or if they are needed. Would the situation benefit from establishing some ground rules? Territory may also appear if you need to carve out some space for yourself whether that be within your home or in the form of time to be alone, you may need to define an area that is solely yours and yours alone. Okay? So that's kind of what I was saying earlier, that even if you are someone who's in a relationship, there's a need for you to kind of like, in a sense, separate and focus on self. Okay? And really think about if you feel like your own energy is in balance apart from the connection that you're in right? And that may also kind of help you to see whether or not everything within your life is in alignment, okay? But there's a need, especially with this light that's kind of here in between, right? These two birds. Maybe there's a need for some of you to learn how to set better boundaries, maybe with friendships, family situations. Let's see what else. What messages are you meant to hear at this time? Pile number three. We have sacred breath and sound, life force and communication, okay? So I'm seeing that as a lot of going with inside of the self, okay? Listening to your inner voice, what it is calling for you to do at this time, whether that is work within the self. We have innovation here with new creations, 
okay? And in this card, I'm seeing how kind of like her heart chakra is lit up, and then she also has that energy extended outwards. Maybe some, some of you are meant to create something at this time with that Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. It could be a new opportunity that you're meant to move forward with or even creating something new. We have bright heart light, open connections. Okay. So for many of you, I feel like this is a healing that's happening within you. But there's also this beautiful energy that's also radiating outward. And for some of you, that is, like I said, could be finding or connecting or meeting someone new. Okay. Needing to open your heart up to that. We have sacred action, decisive focus. So some of you, it could be a need to kind of pull that energy together. Any, like I said, any type of anxiety, fears, worrying, scattered thinking is where you're really needing to kind of find that grounding energy. We also have death and rebirth, darkness to light. And we also have healing earth here, the power to give and receive healing. Maybe for some of you, you do have healing abilities and you're meant to really kind of focus on that. Maybe for some of you, feeling called to that line of work, facilitating healing for others. It could be a need for you to kind of start getting yourself in line with whatever that might be. Okay, I am seeing courage at the bottom. Strength, fierceness, and also family. Okay. So maybe for some of you it is truly stepping into your power here. Um, I'm seeing divine masculine electric active power. So maybe even for some of you it is about stepping into, channeling into the energy of the masculine to take action, to make decisions, okay? Uh, many of you, I'm feeling this is a very powerful rebirth that you might be going through at this time, and this is really where you're letting go of those parts of the self that are no longer in alignment, okay? Maybe it's learning to find your voice, use your voice, learning how to stand up for yourself, learning to be more assertive, learning to take action where needed, okay? Maybe something that many of you are meant to do at this time. I want to look at your sacred action here. What is this sacred action? Queen of Cups. I'm feeling there's that need for you to really listen to your heart space. Um, the Queen of Cups is also incredibly intuitive. Many of you are empaths um, and a need for really kind of feeling into your energy. I'm feeling a lot of confidence strength power uh in this here we also have the king of wands in reverse so some of you it's going to be a need for kind of directing your power your energy being more confident i feel like it's definitely a message that's coming through more confident reclaiming the power let's see what else what is this uh innovation here some of you are being called to create create something we have the king of swords okay the king of swords is about decisive action um, being clear it's clarity of thought rational logical thinking decision making um, at this time okay it's a very beautiful energy for you uh, pile number three okay so working on self-esteem working on confidence learning how to direct and focus your energy it's going to be something that's very powerful for you, okay? Taking time to really reflect on where those insecurities and fears are kind of coming com coming from so you can work past them, right? Transmuting that energy into finding a harmonious balance from within the self between your feminine and your masculine energies so you're able to kind of harness that power, that energy to make decisions that you're needing to or being called to make at this time. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.